Hey, what's going on? It's Arava here, and welcome back to another bit of F1 2018 gameplay today. Brought to you by Codemasters. They dropped a brand new trailer for the French Grand Prix at Paul Ricard this morning. And, uh, well, there's a few snippets of gameplay. Uh, it doesn't give you a huge amount of insight, but definitely does give you insight into the visuals of the game, which is looking pretty stunning. And, of course, the, the well, not new circuit, but Paul Ricard and the French Grand Prix haven't been on the calendar in absolutely ages. So I'm just going to keep referring to it like a new circuit, but it, it's more of a return to the F1 calendar. But anyway, let's play it. We're going to pause it as we go through the trailer and give you some thoughts. But it's got a lot of talk from the actual real drivers, the, the French drivers, uh, to be exact, and also Carlos Sainz, who's obviously driving for Renault, a French team. So they gave some good insight into the French Grand Prix and also towards the end about the game itself. So let's click play and let's just uh, see what's what. There we are, for Ricard track, French Grand Prix. Uh, an honor to be driving at home. Really looking forward to that. My first uh, full season in, in Formula One, and uh, we've got the French GP back in the calendar after 10 years, so uh, massively excited about so, visually, straight away, Paul Ricard there at the very beginning looked pretty damn sweet. I mean, those cinematics, I know they're cinematics, so they may, need be, they may not be complete representation of, of the game. But you've got to say, you know, all that kind of meme talk about working on cloud tech and the weather and whatnot uh, from the very first announcement. You've got to say, actually, to be honest, it looks like they have actually done quite a lot of work on the, the atmosphere and the surroundings. And it does make the entire thing look a lot better. Also, I want to say, the French Grand Prix, uh, I already knew this from the real life videos, but you can really tell from now from this shot, this is going to be an absolute cluster of a, of, of a minefield of, you know, where on earth am I turning if there isn't enough kind of uh, kind of brake marker boards to kind of guide you. I know that you can see like the 50 brake marker board there and there's one there, but still, that is just very confusing. I think even Lewis Hamilton on his little hot lap for Pirelli, uh, when he commentated for the official uh, F1 website on his hot lap, even he said it was confusing sometimes because there's so many, and there's like one, two apexes to turn into left. There's another the one here that goes down this long windy uh, left hander it's it's all very confusing but I'm pretty sure the one they do I think this is the back straight so uh, in real life they'll be taking this uh, second apex turning around here going right and then going down this second uh, straight which they kind of added in I believe because uh, uh, I think the original configuration was just one long straight but I think they wanted to add in the chicane in real life uh, to add to overtaking but yeah the, the the track itself looks stunning the lighting has definitely improved quite a lot this year which you, you you definitely gotta 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 admit looking at this trailer obviously may not be full representation the full product at the end but uh looking pretty sweet and the Toro Rosso the first time we've seen the Toro Rosso Honda car so I'll be interested to see if we can maybe hear the Honda engine in the background a little bit actually if we play it maybe we can hear it in the background whilst Pierre Gasly uh, unfortunately I mean as much as, as much as I love to hear the F1 drivers talk about the F1 game uh when we want to hear the engine sound it's uh, it's not ideal but I don't know can we hear it uh, underneath his voice really excited about it and uh, to have a home race is always a, a, little a special bit. feeling. You really feel the, the support. We have the, the chance as well to be three uh, French drivers. It's gonna be an amazing uh, event for, for all of us. Of course, French Grand Prix is the one I'm really much looking forward in the year. First time that uh, I'm gonna race uh, on my own Grand Prix, so that's, uh, that's an exciting one. And a lot of uh, French fun coming and watching us and supporting us. So yeah, French Grand Prix for me, obviously a very special race, uh, the home race of my, of my team Renault. So looking forward to, to having a strong weekend there. Raced a couple of times in uh, lower categories, uh, Formula Renault 2 liter, 3.5. Actually won there uh, in 2013. I had a nice fight with uh, Carlos. I actually remember 2014, he managed to take pole. It was a red flag session and he managed to, to take advantage and take pole position. And I started second, just behind him. I managed to get a really good start and, uh, and pass him into turn one around the outside. He beat me in the race, so I finished second. Not so happy about it, but uh, <laughs> I gotta take my revenge uh, this year. But yeah, amazing track. Uh, I mean, of course, for me, it brings me back like good memories. 
I've been playing video games since, uh, since I'm a kid, basically, since I'm six. Uh, I play uh, with a little steering wheel and uh, it always been my routine, you know, I was uh, exiting school and I was just playing, uh, playing games there and uh, I haven't stopped that, basically. Um, game, I've, I've evolved massively um, and getting more and more realistic. Sorry, Esteban, well, I'm just going to cut you off there. So, first look at the Force India from the offboard. I know we've seen some onboards from E3 gameplay, but definitely does look quite quite tasty. I mean, I've never been a massive fan of the new Force India livery from this year, but even in-game, looks pretty damn sweet. And it's cool to see uh, the start there, this little section of F1 drivers talking about them playing the F1 games. It's cool to hear that they themselves play the official F1 game. I mean, plenty of times you've seen, if you follow Pierre Gassi on Instagram, you can see plenty of times on his story, he's constantly posting that he's playing the F1 game on F1 2017. Like, before Spain, he was uh, playing the Spanish Grand Prix. He has, like, the exact same throw Master uh, Ferrari license wheel with a sticker over the Ferrari sticker part because obviously he's a he's a Red Bull driver. But cool to see the drivers play the game. But yeah, the Force India looking pretty cool. And once again, the lighting you can just definitely tell if you compare videos to last year's game, uh, they just tweak the lighting ever so subtly, and it just does look that more grounded in the entire space and environment it's in. The day, and uh, I play yeah between one and two hours on the evenings online or not online, um, and I just find it yeah very useful to just. Keep it up basically when you don't have a, a race weekend i just uh, keep racing on my own i spend my my time at home always practicing in formula one game and going to a simulator in renault so you guys can be sure that we also do this kind of practice because in the end everything you can do the better my first try with the 2018 formula one game i must say i'm super impressed i'm a big fan of uh, of the game so i've always played uh, since i was a kid but every year it keeps getting better, so... Video games are getting more and more realistic, which is quite uh, impressive. Right, so before we uh, listen to Roman Grosjean compare the, the handling model to, to real life, a little look into uh, the, the Halo kind of view. Obviously, we saw some from E3 with the Force India and the Ferrari without the middle stalk, which you can remove in cockpit cam, obviously, if you watched those videos and got the info from uh, from E3. But now the first time to look at the Haas on board here. Nice to see, actually, from here, you can actually see those Vortex generator teeth on the top of the Halo from here. So nice little details from Cody's there. And, of course... The the number eight uh, grow that they've got in real life then. But uh, the view-wise, without the stalk, I've got to say it's not that bad. Like, like we've done in previous videos when we've had like mods of the uh, Halo on F1 cars. It's it's never been amazingly bad. But you can see what what why they decided to take the middle stalk out in the gameplay. And you see what I mean, what, what I meant in previous videos by in real life, if you hold like something in front of your face, like a small little stalk like this, you can actually look through it due to your perspectives or your two eyes whereas in the game it's a flat screen so you can't look past it so it is a little bit compromising in a game to have something like the halo there and so that's why they're giving you the option to remove it and so it kind of smooths out a little bit like we've seen from the Ferrari gameplay but uh, it's it's going to be cool to see what uh, Roman Grosjean has to say about the the view and the feel of, of, of the F1 game versus the the real life thing. This is never easy to replicate the feeling you've got in the car on a video game but Nowadays, I've got to admit that it's getting better and better all the time, and you get some decent line and feelings and lap time out of it. And that's the on board of the Haas. First time we've seen a lot of these cars, actually for the first time, the Haas, the Renault, the Toro Rosso, uh, seeing them on board. We saw the Force India and the Ferrari on board a couple of times around E3. Only cars left to really see are McLaren, Mercedes, and uh, Sauber. Well, we've seen the Sauber a little bit, but that wasn't really a, a fully fledged one. Because i got a note actually there on the Monaco video from uh, Leclerc's lap, you saw the halo was very simple because obviously... As we go on through the weeks, uh, the game's getting more polished and polished. So I suspect the Halo, when they recorded that Leclerc video, was quite early, maybe a little bit in the development of the Halo. So they hadn't quite uh, finished it on that car. Whereas now, you can clearly see, like I mentioned, with the little Vortex generator teeth on the top of the of the Haas Halo, they're now getting through. You're, you're about to see in the in the gameplay clips from the from the Renault and the Toro Rosso, each car will have the, their individual different looking Halos, the different styles to it in terms of winglets or the 
with water generators or just plain uh, in the case of the Red Bull car. And also even the way it connects back to the chassis. The Haas has got this kind of more chiseled way it connects to the chassis, whereas the Renault and the Toro Rosso maybe sleeks out a little bit more as it enters the chassis on the frame. But that's what the T-Cam looks like, the offset T-Cam. I've got to say, the offset T-Cam, uh, compared to the mod videos I've been doing uh, with the career mode, I think pretty, pretty, uh, actually quite realistic in terms of what it's going to look like in the new game. So I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, no, let's continue on and see those on board of the new cars. As a team, I think we, we improved quite a lot the, the stability on the car. The team did a, a good job to improve the, the aero, uh, our aero package. And uh, it's actually something you can uh, feel also in, in the game. And so Toro Rosso looking pretty good. Obviously, like I said, it has the, the Toro Rosso-esque winglets on the halo then as well. Unfortunately, you can't hear the engine too much. A little bit barely, but it's uh, it's not enough to really get a nice uh, hear of that. Obviously, very raspy and individual sound of the Honda engine. But good to see Pierre Gasly talking you know, nicely of the new handling system on F1. And obviously, uh, mentioning yeah, the suspension. Good job to improve the, the aero, uh, our aero package. And uh, it's actually something you can uh, feel also in, in the game. In terms of balance, uh, really surprised. I didn't do anything on the setup so far, but it feels already really close to, uh, to what it is in reality. If you take the aids off, it produces quite a lot of front locking, which is something we have in the Formula One car. The combined traction is difficult to handle because we have uh, nearly 1,000 horsepower this year. Uh, you gotta be quite careful. Uh, the way you, you apply the throttle on all the exits, especially the, the low speed corners, feels really close to reality. It's not easy, but in this game, I'm actually enjoying myself with the, in the traction zones. I've had a couple of spins, so if you guys at home have your spins, it's, it's normal because a Formula One driver also had them. Thank you, Carlos Sainz, for absolutely rectifying any mistake we've ever made in an F1 video ever. Thank you very much, my man. Love your work. Right, so looking at the Renault on board there, let's, uh, let's flash forward a little bit. So uh, there's the copy cam of the Renault then. So the difference you also can see straight away, the Renault does not have those Vortex generated teeth. So just you know, good to see that Cody's are taking the time to have that individuality in each of the Halo bits. Also a little flicks there on the top of the chassis. And the Renault, I've got to say, we move back to the T-cam. The Renault, I wasn't sure. You know, the Renault was probably one of my favorite looking cars from last year's game on board on the game um but i wasn't sure with the halo this year like on board in real life when we've ever seen the, the renault it's been kind of like uh but it looks okay in game you know to be honest i wouldn't be too too put off playing the renault in korea maybe i don't know but uh let me know what you guys think of the, of the onboard what's your favorite on board from from these gameplays the toro Rosso, the renault or uh what we've seen previously with the force indian the ferrari maybe but definitely i think the vote for me would be right now renault obviously they they've got the uh di the difference like i said the way it chisels through to the chassis and then obviously i think they might want to move that logo a little bit more forward i think in real life that they've moved the the r the rs sport uh logo a little bit far forward, but the Renault looking pretty damn sweet. The low speed corners. Not in the traction zones. I've had a couple of spins, so if you guys at home have your spins, it's, it's normal because a Formula One driver also had them. <laughs> One of the main um, improvements this year in the game is based on the suspension, is something actually you can feel pretty well on curb riding. You feel that you can use the curb a bit more, it's a bit more realistic in terms of feeling and feedback you get from the car. And something quite cool as well, you can use the ERS and manage the energy as you like. It's quite cool to have the similar tools to play with in the game. It's amazing, especially with the Halo, it's not easy to reproduce exactly the, the vision we have inside the car, but it does feel like my car, so... I think this speaks a lot of, of the F1 2018 game. As I said, Gasly, if you followed him for a while on Instagram, he does play the F1 games quite regularly on his Instagram story. He's posted many, many times over the last two years. Even on F1 2016, he was playing the F1 game uh, whilst he was doing his Super Formula uh, series. And then obviously, like I said, for this campaign, he's definitely uh, posted quite a few times when he's playing F1 2017. So for him to kind of mention the suspension, uh, you know, being able to ride the curve maybe a little bit more due to the feedback you're getting onto the wheel is good. He may mentioned the ERS system, obviously a big thing, and now, uh, you know, kind of more like real life, they have to do that same management. Probably a little bit more simplified in the game than they have to do in real life, I'm not going to lie, but uh, definitely good to see him talking highly of that. And then also the, the way it kind of feels in the cockpit with the Halo. They've done a pretty good job. Sorry guys, <laughs> next time, <laughs> this will be still me. <laughs>
I just want to point this out. They asked who set the fast lap of the Grand Prix or, or, or the Paul Ricard circuit. No one actually answered who set the fast lap. Ocon over here is like, ah, I didn't set the fastest lap. Then you got the other drivers kind of doing the same thing. But no one actually confirmed who set the fast lap. Cody's, give us a give us a you know a confirmation. Who set the fast lap here? <laughs> the game is so cool. <laughs> Gonna be pushing to get the game before the race, so. I that's what you say when you didn't set the fast lap. Yeah, yeah, no, the game's cool. The game's got. Oh, no, no, no I, you don't want to know my lap time. No, the game's cool. The game's cool. <laughs> can practice a bit more. Oh. Right there was Grosjean being taken out by Ericsson in game. It's not even possible in time trial, but it happened. Yeah, yeah no. I'm rubbish to video game. <laughs> And so there we have it, F1 2018 make headlines, obviously that release date we've known for a while there, but there is some F1 2018 gameplay, not a lot to go off, but uh, visually speaking definitely gives us a lot of good insight into the game, and it's looking pretty damn sweet, um, they definitely have improved the, the graphic fidelity in terms of the way it looks, in terms of the atmosphere, the lighting, and the onboards don't look as bad as I thought they would with the, with the Halo, honestly, um, obviously we've seen a lot of the, the, the cockpit cam stuff from Ferrari at E3, but um, T cam wise, it looks pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying them out uh, when we get later on to this year. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of any of that stuff I talked about in the video. If you're on your own here, do get subscribed for weekly fall on content. I've been Ava. Hope you're the rest of the day, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.